And then fourth line to start the season, I have Ryan Paling at center, Lekkonen on the left, and Mathieu Perrault. Um, a lot of people are saying Mathieu Perrault at center, but if you have Paling, who is a center, I'd have Paling yeah. there. Perrault on the right, Lekkonen on the left. Um, when Cedric Paquette comes back, though, if Paling doesn't prove himself, Paquette's going to take that spot. Paling's going to go back down to Laval. That's what I wanted to touch on before we get to defensive pairings here is with all respect to Ryan Paling, who's a fan of the show, who's been on the show, uh, mm -hmm. such a talented hockey player. I was expecting so much more uh, this camp. Is it his surgery that's keeping him back? Is he keeping it reserved because he doesn't want to do too much? I don't know. Like He played great against Ottawa on Saturday night. But I, I don't know. It's I was just expecting more from him. And the way Cedric Paquette is, was playing before he got injured, I absolutely enjoyed the way Paquette was playing. And Paquette was in my lineup over Ryan Paling. But that's just me. I, I don't know if Ryan Paling did enough to, to make the team. I don't know. And at this point, we're, when we're recording, too, uh, we do have two more games left in the preseason. So we have uh, Toronto Tuesday, and then I think it's Ottawa Thursday. So that being said, you wonder, and I want to ask, I want to ask you guys this. As uh, I think it looks like Shane's a little frozen. Yeah, we lost so we can get, yeah. Hopefully, we can get him back. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> um, but I want to ask you guys this too. Um, I, I'm wondering Dom Descharmes' thinking on how he's using paling in the preseason right now. Do you think it's fair? Um, to maybe look at who his line mates are in order to evaluate how his preseason has been going? Or do you think it's really just all on paling at this point? Shane, I'll let you go ahead with that one. Yeah. of Obviously like he hasn't played with, you know, big players, but still, I, I think he has played with Lekkonen. Uh, but yeah, you know, at, at this point, like, I, I, I don't really want to blame it on his line mates. It's it's really on him because we saw what he could do in Laval last last year. He was lights up. Fantastic player. Probably the best on the team. And then this year, it's not really showing. You know, yesterday he's had not, a good game, but He's not, not first on not the enough. puck. He's not no. skating. He's losing his one-on-one -on -one battles. Like, it, it's just key things that it doesn't, like you said, it doesn't matter to the line mates, really. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's on him right now. So for somebody who's competing for a spot, not only with Evans, but with Pocket and the possibility of Peru playing at first, I was personally just expecting a lot more from his camp. But, I mean, what am I? I'm just a armchair coach. So, <laughs> no, I think I think we've all seen the same thing. Jashalm has also yeah. kind of jabbed at him in press conferences. Like, he expects more. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate to see because we know what kind of potential Paling has. We saw, like, again, Laval last year. He's probably the best player on the team what is wrong like what is not happening here because i don't know he should be like lights out but it's not the case unfortunately well he's I wonder, got two games left to prove it right yeah yeah like he's still got two games left and i'm just curious if if preseason is just kind of a, a mental thing too because even a couple of years ago a buddy of mine went to see a game and jonathan drew and just looked like he didn't really care to be there um so he he obviously Duran knows he was a lock to make the roster at that point. So I don't know what like I mean, Paling mentioned it even uh, in his first interview before any sort of practices took place that everyone's on their own journey. So he has to worry about what he's what his journey is. But I'm just curious if you know as these last couple of games pick up and the intensity picks up and the rosters are more closer to what we're going to see on opening night. Um, I'm wondering if he's just holding back a little bit. I know that sounds like maybe not something that you would want to do if you're trying to crack mm -hmm. the roster, but I almost expect him. Maybe he's just keeping that. I, I don't know. I, I just, yeah. I think we all expect to see more and I think we will. I think it's just a, mm -hmm. maybe a matter of time here. Yeah. I, that's why I'm giving him the spot for starting the season until pocket is, is ready to come back. Like give him a chance in the real season yeah, with good line mates, like he like good line mates. And if it doesn't happen, then hey. Pocket, you have a spot, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I, I kind of like what you said there. That's a, a great uh you give him a chance. Yeah. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, you you'd improve yourself. We'll give it to a guy who did. That's it. It's that's as simple it. as that, right? Unfortunately. It's tough. It's tough love. And that's it's a hard place to be. That might be player. what he needs, though. Maybe it could be. I mean, but then could, again, yeah. at, sorry, it's just like a, a big a bigger subject, which we're not gonna touch on, but just quickly of 
how much tough love does a guy get? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. It just kind of worries me that if he doesn't make the team this year, where do we go from here? Yeah. You know, I think, I think we'll let it play out and see For what sure. kind of conclusions to draw, but For sure. he'll be the one to decide. He's a smart kid and he had a good off season. He had time to clear his mind. I think he knows what he needs to do. And yeah, I'm um, hoping he makes it. We, we all, we, we all do. We, sure. <laughs> we, we want him to do well. That's the whole thing is we want yeah. these guys to do well. It's not about being critical. It's just like, we know you're better than what you're showing right now.